Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You already know the answer to your question. If you're doing good things in the way of Allah, and you're doing it, and you're making progress, then you stop making those actions, and you feel stuck, and you say, what should I do to come out from this stuck position to make progress? We say you have to continue with what made sense to you before, when you were doing it, and it made progress. No one is forcing you. This is not a way of forcing. No one is forcing you to do more worship. No one is forcing you to care for others. No one is forcing you, please, to share sohbets. <coughs> if you don't want to be humble or a caring person, no one is forcing you. Say you must be a caring and you must be humble. Everyone is free to do what they want. But nobody is free from the consequences of their actions. So you're free to care, but you're not free to, be f uh, to have freedom from the consequences of caring. If you care, the results of that is Allah will care for you more. Prophet will care for you more. You don't care. Well, those ones, they're not going to care for you too much. You cannot now say, I don't care and I want them to care. You cannot also say, I care and I don't want them to care. So you may do as you like. But you cannot run away from your, the results, the consequences of your actions. If you want to make progress in the way of Allah and His Prophet in this way, You have to step on your ego. Your ego wants you to worship more, to make more zikr, to share sohbats, to do all these things for show. Your ego makes people to do so many things for show. Then you're going to go against that. You're going to sit down and say, oh, no, I'm not going to. Because you know it is for show. And you're going to understand why you are doing that. For what reason you are doing it. You have made a commitment. If you made a commitment, whether you feel it or you don't feel it, whether it's easy or, or it's hard, you're going to be committed and you're going to do it. That time... It doesn't matter whether your stomach is empty, your stomach is full. Your faith will not go according to your stomach or your emotions or your mood. At the very least, you say, I already made a commitment, I cannot run away from it. So, you need to step on your ego. If your ego doesn't want to make zikr and worship, and to share sohbat, ego just wants to be lazy, then that's the time you should take the ego under your feet and to control it and to do the opposite of what the ego is saying. Otherwise, then you are in this way and you're not going to make any progress. Welcome to Jihadul Akbar. Welcome to the struggle against the nafs. If you are not in this if you're not struggling against your nafs in this way, then you haven't reached to certain levels yet. Because the whole uh, uh, secret in this way is to be going against your nafs. So, it may be easy for you, but you need to wake up. We need to be honest and sincere with each other. We should not play games with each other or with ourselves. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.